Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate a random list from another table. So let's say for example that we have a table here and we just wanted to create a random list of people. Maybe it's a lottery or something like that or they have a prize and we want to create a random list of these people and get, their, get it on an output here. I'll show you two ways. One using the new dynamic array features that are only available in Microsoft Office 365 and another way using just the random function. And later on, I'll show you a little bit of the details of the two dynamic array functions, the sort by function and the random array function that I use here. A little more detail on how they operate, right? So let's go into how we create a random list from this list here. To do that using the rand function, rand array function, what I can do is use sort by, and we're going to sort by, we're going to sort this array. We want the full name of the people. We want to sort this by some random list. And I will use the rand array function to do that. Double click, I'll tab that. So there's 20 rows here, and I want a random array of 20 rows. Call, close parentheses, close parentheses, press enter, and now double click that to auto fit. Now I've got my random list of names. Now this is a volatile function, meaning anytime I can, sh I can press F9, the random list will be regenerated. So it just regenerates that random list. And I can just pull this out. Maybe I just want the top five here. And I can pull that out and, and these are my top five prize winners or whatever. Now, if we didn't have Office 365 or Microsoft 365 and we wanted to do it on the old way, one way to do it is to use the rand function. So I can just type the rand function, double click that, press control enter to stay in that cell, double click this to auto fit. Now these are all random numbers. I'll have another output column because now I want to sort this based on this because this is going to change every time you notice that it changes every time if I enter, press enter, type something, press enter, that changes, or if I just press the F9 key, press escape, press the F9 key, that all changes. But if I want this static, I would have to make a copy of this. Control C to copy, paste this as values. And now I can do a sort here, do a filter, maybe sort this from smallest to largest. And now I have my names here, right? So every time that I want to do a different sort, I got to reset that. Press F9, press F9, take that, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And now I have smallest to largest. That changes, so I have my different sorting names. You can see that's a little bit, a couple extra steps than this. This is kind of nice where you just have, that all gets kind of done in the background. You just press F9, it gets resorted automatically. Now, as I mentioned, I was going to cover what these functions do, where sort by and rand array. Sort by is one of those dynamic array functions that make it really easy to do something like this. So what sort by does, it lets you sort a, an array or a list based on some other thing, some other array or list. Let's pretend that we have a score here. I'm going to use uh, random numbers between 50 and 100. Control enter, that enters it all in there. And let's make the static. I don't want this to change again because this is another volatile function. If I press F9, you can see that all changes. Control C to copy, and then I'll just paste these as values. So the formula disappears and the values are there. So the sort by function, you can type equal sort by this one. You can see that it takes two, at least two required arguments. First is the array, which is basically my list here. I want to sort this list by what? By another array, another list. So I'm going to sort it by this list, right? And the sort order, it's either going to be ascending or descending. So zero to zero to 10 or 10 to zero, right? So by default, it's ascending. So I don't really need to click on that, but I'm just going to click one anyways. And the nice thing about the sort by is you can have other arrays. You can, you can do additional sorts. So, but let's sort by this first. Press enter. And that's what we've done. We've sorted by the scores. 
So now we see the sort order, it's, gonna, it's ascending. So the lowest number starts first. Let's see what's the lowest number here. It's 50, right? Sarbar Darch. So Sarbar starts first, right? If I change this to descending, it's gonna be, I think either Rossi or I think it's gonna be Bethane first. Let's see. So that's gonna be negative. That's descending. Press enter. And now we have Bethane, Bethany, and then Ross, Rossi next, right? So that's the sort order there. So it's a good thing that we have two numbers here that are the same, 98 and 91. You can see that it's sorted by the B is first, right? B and then R, right? So the B comes before R here. But let's say we want to sort by the last name. And the sort by function gives us the ability to sort by more than one array. So let me go back in here. And let's say we also want to sort by the last name. After we sort by the scores, and we want to sort by ascending, which is default. So Rosie should come first now because even though she has the last name S and Bethany has the last name S, the SH would come before the SW, right? So we can say our sort order is number one, which is by default. Close parentheses, press enter. Now we have Rosie come first and then Bethany come second. So we have the ability with the sort by to sort by multiple arrays, multiple columns. So that's the sort by function. Now, I said I was going to cover the rand array function. There's a little more details on what rand array does. So what rand array does, let me go to rand array, is it gives you four, or well, actually five arguments. And it just is a random number generator when you think about it. So you can see these are all arguments that it could take. If I didn't have anything else in there, anything in there, if I just put rand array, it's just going to generate a random number in one cell, similar to the rand function. But if I specify things like rows, maybe I want wanted five rows of random numbers, right? I can do that and I'll get five rows. But what if I wanted five rows and five columns of random numbers? All I need to do is put a comma and then I want also five columns of random numbers. So it's going to generate five columns, of, five by five of random numbers. You can see these are all random numbers between 0 and 1. And the beauty of the rand array function is that it can also be very similar to the rand between function. Earlier when I had the, um, let me press escape here, when I had the sort by function and I created a random between 50 and 100 here, with the rand array function you can also do that, right? So I can go, okay, let's say minimum is 50 and the maximum is 100. And do I want these as integers? Well, let's try it without as integers. You'll see what happens. And press enter. You can see that it's generated the values between 50 and 100, but as dec with decimals too. But if I want it just integers, I can say true, press enter, and now these are all integers. So that's the rand array function. So the combination of sort by and rand array was what created this particular set of output. Maybe a little more detail than you needed, but that's the explanation behind what is giving this output. So if you had Office 365, this one function can create this random list based on here. And if you didn't have Office 365, you'd probably have to do something like this where you'd create a rand and then put it into another column, sort it, so you can get your random list of people. So this is a little bit more manual work using the dynamic array functions here it becomes quite easy to do. So that's the way that we can create a random list based on another list. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.